means to me to be sheriff is, uh, you know, we're not a melting pot. We don't all share the same values. We don't all share the same views. We don't share the same uh, religion or even language. And so what it is that unites us is the law. And it's the law that we freely and voluntarily agree to and uh, subject ourselves to because we think rape, robbery, murder, and the like is, uh, you know, should be prohibited. And as a civilized society, we have to have people that are willing to enforce those laws. And, uh, you know, being sheriff allows you to, uh, you know, have say in what kind of community and society you live in. There's that fine line, though, on, uh, you know, with technology on spying on your citizens and investigating crimes. And I think uh, certainly we have the means to go after criminals uh, and the workforce multiplier that technology provides for us. But we have to be careful uh, not to go over that line either. So, uh, you know, whether it's tag readers or, or, or drones or uh, ways we intercept and, and data and, you know, data mining and the like. Uh, there's all sorts of things that are that are beneficial to the law enforcement uh, field, but uh, again, it's it takes a lot of uh, research and uh, application in order to determine, you know, what, what's good and what's bad. We have to compromise in those laws that we're governed by, and uh, we, we have to debate those things that are best for our society and best for our, uh, not just today's citizens, but you know, the citizens tomorrow, our children and our grandchildren. And, uh, the Florida Sheriff's Association does so much on the legislative uh, side of the house, and it does so much in uh, awareness and education to our citizens. Uh, it's a benefit because it helps keep us all going on the same path towards the same goal. I think that the, the, the lack of unity and the divisiveness in our country, uh, whether it's uh, you know legalization of drugs or decriminalizing uh, of crimes, we don't want to ever uh, allow uh, bureaucrats or special interest groups to basically assert the authority of the legislative branch or the uh, discretionary authority of the judicial branch and I, I think you see a lot of that lead over happening now where so many unelected uh, folks are basically dictating to the rest of us what we should believe or not believe and what we should enforce and what we shouldn't enforce and uh, uh, that becomes an issue. Uh, but the bane of our society uh, is drug use, is, is dangerous drug use and uh, that, that causes so much, so many issues from, from burglaries to domestic violence and the like and I think we have to ask ourselves why do we feel the need to alter our state of being uh, with the use of drugs and alcohol in order to be, be happy when it does just the exact opposite. And we all have a, a goal, and kind of like a river tries to get to the, to the ocean, uh, there's always obstacles and without banks a, a river's nothing but a swamp still stagnant dying. And, uh, but with those banks and that guidance, you know, it becomes a mighty force of nature getting to the, to the ocean. And uh, so we've got to provide the guidance for, for our communities on what's best for all of us, you know, in, in the interest of all of us. What things do we agree on and not necessarily those things we disagree on.